out, so this is the second part. It is this denial of, and this is called the thou shalt, right? This is the part of Nietzsche that I just absolutely love, right? This is the thou shall uh, not. This denial, I, I'll say this again so that it is absolutely clear. This denial exists as a given. It exists as a given. It exists as a social given. I just talked about how socially this is situated, right? So this is, if you want to think of it here, right? This exists as a social given, S-O-C-I-A-O. There, we are born into this institution. The institution is already constructed. Older people already exist in society before me and after me. Um, institutions of power already exist in society before me and after me. This is also um, an epistemological. E -P -I -S -T -M -O -L -O -G -I. This is also an epistemological given, right? Slash logical given. I want X, there is a not X in place, right? The very idea of existence necessitates non-existence. Right? The greatest question in philosophy is why is there rather than why why does something exist rather than not? Right? Why why is there existence rather than non-existence? That's the we'll never answer that. Physicists will spend the rest of their time trying to answer that. Philosophers, if there are any um, 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 metaphysicians left, and I shout out to Martin Schoenfeld. I come from a metaphysician. I consider myself a metaphysician. Um, I never really talk about it though, but because it's you know why he talks about metaphysics. But I can't wait for my metaphysics series on the side. But the idea is that epistemologically, logically, this denial is inherent. It's a given. If you say X, non-X is sort of, it's corollary. It's binary opposition. So that we can talk about social denial. We can talk about epistemological denial. And then obviously this is moral denial, right? You, you morally ought not to, right? All of this is a given. All of this is a given. What's interesting, however, is the relationship, how this then serves, how this then serves the purpose of recognition of the moral ego. I recognize I, me, self, insofar as I come to the realization at one point in my life, and for some of you, this will be the first time that you've realized it, right? So I would go further than a psychological sort of discourse and say that no, true self-recognition, true egoism begins today. It's when you recognize, and you're probably well into your 30s or 40s or 50s, or some people live their whole lives and don't recognize this. I'm not talking about the ego in psychological setting, right, which you might be able to recognize self in a marrying phase at 18 months. I'm talking about no, really knowing who you are, I. I am always in a position where I've been thrown into the given, and that given, epistemologically, morally, socially, <clears throat> has institutions in place to deny me. And it is through that denial that I come to know who I am. I am Jason Campbell, who is denied this desire X. Who am I? I am that person who desires X, but I am denied by that desire, right? I am the person who performs in a certain way, but the performance is in relationship and in full recognition that there are social, moral, epistemological apparatus, apparati in place to deny me. Similarly with you, right? So the idea that Nietzsche says here is, is profoundly, I mean, all of this 30 minutes discussion was to discuss that one sentence, revisit the sentence. The subject is only a fiction. The ego of which one speaks when one censures egoism does not exist at all. That means the concept of I is a product. It is a condition of, it is a consequence of denial. Right? Censure. That I come to recognize the I as a consequence of denial. This denial is a given. This given is socially epistemic epistemically, morally given. It's there. Pre-existing substrate. Institutions of power, thou shalt. Nietzsche talks about the dragon. In place to deny me. You cannot do that. You must not do that. 
we're nowhere near to talk about the Ubermen. I shouldn't even bring it up because we're hundreds of notes away from really coming to terms with the concept of what will eventually be this Ubermen. But the idea is, I'm not rocking the Death Skull. I am not in a state of denial to the point of which I have reduced my existence to the embodiment, symbolic embodiment of my own destruction. I'm wearing the me shirt. I am all about pride and ego and self. I'm about trumpeting and I'm about satisfaction of desires as much as legally possible. As I said in the previous lectures, it isn't about moral accessibility. It's about legal and not, and not legal in the, in the moral law sense, in the socio-political legal. If it's legal, it's fair game. If you don't think it's fair game, you're going to put yourself in a position within a socio-political context where other people won't have the same moral impediments that you have and live, one, a more satisfied life, two, accomplish far more than you could ever accomplish. Why? Because you are limiting your progression through society because your desires conflate with some pre-existing system. That system is in place, Nietzsche says, to deny you. So think about this. You can't, the, 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 the level of self-denial is so profound that there is a pre-existing substrate of denial in place compounded by an ideological, theological system which denies via the thou shalt, compounded by, from a Kantian sense, and this is why he hates Kant so much, compounded by an even deontological sense of which your action, the shopkeeper example in Kant, your action of attempting to do what perceives to be a good act isn't good if the intent isn't good. So that it is threefold self-denial. Our entire existence is about denial, 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 denial. It's never about satisfaction, satisfaction, satisfaction. It's all denial from birth till death. And it's compounded on so many levels, it's ridiculous. Nietzsche comes with the hammer and says, it's about me. 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 That's what it's about. It's about a recognition of self. Right? And the, the sense in which self transcends, not in the sort of, you know, spiritual sense, but overcomes this orchestrated um, system of denial, right? This, I mean, this is as, as, this is a, this is as deep as it gets, right? So, um, first bullet point after the, uh, the note uh, or the image, um, quote, a doctrine of, a doctrine and religion of love, in quotes, of suppression, so a doctrine of suppression, right? A religion of love of suppression, again, denial, suppresses feelings of rivalry, of resentment, of envy, the all too natural feelings of the underprivileged. The underprivileged, on Facebook the other day, I posted uh, just a, a stupid status update like, yo, I'm watching... I'm watching, uh, I'm watching Sucker Free Sunday, it's, you know, 1 o'clock in the morning, and they start Sucker Free Sunday in the middle of a recession. Now, granted, I know the recession ended in July of 09 or June of 09, like, irrespective of that. A recession, and, and it's like, dance, dance, be happy, hey, 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 deny the fact that you should be pissed. Right, when I came up, it was, it was either trying to identify with sort of black pride via public enemy, or it was trying to identify with police brutality well before the, the LA riots via NWA. It was, trying to, it was trying to express feelings of resentment, of rivalry, of envy, of jealousy, of rage. And the music manifested that, right? So it was very, it was very dense, angry music. But it wasn't anger for the sake of anger. People outside of hip hop just totally didn't get it, right? It was it was an expression of that is really the voice of the underprivileged, right? The voice of the underprivileged is that voice. It's not exclusively that voice, but it is that voice. Freer says himself in the discussion of this transformation of the social structures of oppression. It's not the case that I want to become the new master, but I cannot accept 